Today, the Senate Judiciary Committee holds a hearing to examine the role that financial fraud played in the economic crisis and the actions taken by the government uh, due to testify representatives from the SEC, the FBI, and the Attorney General's Office. Delaware Senator Ted Kaufman is chairing the hearing. He joins us now. Senator, this whole, this whole discussion is, is going to be fraught with, with semantics. Um, I guess what, you're talking about things like Galleon, maybe, or, or Madoff, but there are those that would say ratings agencies and credit to faults. Oh, no, no. No, you're right. No, this is not about just made up. This is about, this is about rating agencies. Oh, this it is. is? About, oh, yeah. No, this is going to be about anybody who the uh, who was involved in any kind of fraud, especially with regard to the recent financial crisis. So, what we're trying to do is get away from kind of the normal thing, where you pick up some mortgage brokers, or you pick up a single person who was involved, or even just insider trading. You're trying to find to get at the systemic things that went on that caused a lot of the crisis because it was a systemic thing that caused a lot of the crisis. So, no, no, this is a whole idea. We passed the uh, uh, Fraud uh, Enforcement Recovery Act in order to get more FBI agents and more prosecutors to go after this kind of very complex fraud. So, yeah. uh, you're going to see more. This, that's what this is really all about. It's exactly but, what you said. You're right but, on point. But, unfortunately, a lot of stuff that, that, that caused what happened w was legal. And if it, if it wasn't legal, right. why would we need new regulations if everything that, that, that they were doing was already, you know, illegal? Yeah, no, that's, a, that's a very good question. This hearing, the, most people don't realize there are two different kinds of congressional hearings. One is a legislative hearing where you try to write legislation. That's what we did before we passed the FIRA Act. We had le uh, hearings on that. Then after you pass an act, you have what's called oversight hearings where you call in the people from the federal government and you say, okay, we passed this act. We gave you more FBI agents. We gave you more prosecutors. We gave you more money for complex. What are you doing with it and how are you using it? So that's what the hearing is about. This is not about new legislation. This is about oversight to make sure we're doing that the, that the government's involved in exactly what the Congress and the President said they want to be involved in, which is to go back, find out who was involved in this, to the extent they were, is any, if there weren't, if it was no fraudulent behavior, no problem. To the extent there was fraudulent behavior, find out who it is, put them in jail. You know, the, the scariest thing, Senator, might be that, that Galleon and the, the uh, Raj Rajaratnam would say this was business as usual. You, you're, yeah. you're coming in here and, you know, right. I hear things and I, right. you know, through the grapevine right. I hear this and that's, right. he's saying that's the way the whole hedge fund business operates, yeah. which, which means... Well, not an exchange for cash. Right. Well, I know, but there's a lot, well, here's, you know, here's the thing. some people me... think it's the tip of the iceberg right. in what? that business. Exactly. No, I think it is and, and that's part of it, but let me just give you a perfect example. Let's talk about the, the mortgage-backed securities. Basically, what we're doing now, we're going out, we did a great job on finding mortgage brokers and uh, appraisers and, and finance officers in L.A. and Las Vegas who did it. But these things went packaged up, and there's real reason to believe that there are people on Wall Street that knew that these were bogus uh, packages, that these, these, these were not worth it. They'd sold these mortgage-backed securities, rating agencies rated them AAA, and all the time everybody knew that they were not what they were supposed to be. That is fraud. So we're talking about the systemic fraud that went on with regard to the whole mortgage-backed securities industry. We're talking about the systemic fraud that went on with regard to short selling. We're talking about the things that went on that really were the cause that happened, that really caused a lot of the financial crisis. Now, there were a lot of people, things were bad. We had a bubble in the housing market and the rest of that. But there were, it's a real reason to believe lots of information that there was really kind of systemic fraud going on. Uh, in a number of areas. Yeah, but one man's fraud is another's uh, marketing. Exactly. You, you, you look how hard it was to try and get a conviction of the Bear Stearns absolutely. guys. No, and that's, no. Those are the same security. By the way, I absolutely agree. And I don't think one, look, I'm opposed to one innocent person going to jail. But I'll tell you what, I will bet you we come back a year from now, we're going to find out that people did this and people have been caught and people are going to go to jail. Um, all right, Senator, we'll be, we'll be watching closely, and uh, uh, we appreciate your time this morning. We know sure. it's early, but uh, you probably prefer this or one of those long hearings anyway. So, uh, <laughs> hey, it's good being on with you guys. Thanks good, a lot for having to, me. Uh, you're welcome. Good Take to see care. you. All right.